So you've got yourself a Fuji spray. It's been spraying nicely. You love it. You've upgraded. You spent the money, and now you're looking to kind of make some improvements on it. So what I want to walk through is how you can take your base model Fuji sprayer and make some small upgrades that will uh, allow you to spray uh, faster, clean up easier, and get better results. All right, so the first thing is, is that Fuji spray is fantastic. The stuff that they produce is amazing. They spray well, um, and out of the box, they're really good products. So they don't need a lot of improvement on their own, but there is something you can do uh, to upgrade your system and make it a little simpler to use. And I want to walk through what that looks like. All right, so you have your sprayer, and you notice that my spray gun looks a little different than how they show up from the factory, and I want to show you the modifications that we've made. And what we're using is the 3M PPS spray system uh, 2.0. What I want to show you is how to modify your current gun to fit the new system. Um, so here's how this works. So your spray gun shows up, and when it shows up, you uh, it's assembled, and this uh, canister for your medium is usually screwed onto here, the air hose is attached off the back, and you pour your you pour your solution right into here, uh, and you go spray. And usually that works out pretty well. The problem with that is that it usually is a multi-step process that uh, can get a little dirty, can get a little cumbersome, and just add to your time in the shop. So the normal process and the process we use in our shop for many uh, for many years is basically you took a cup like this. If you uh, needed to mix solution, you poured it all in here, and then you took this cup, you stirred it up, then you took a strainer, you have to strain it, you set your gun on some sort of holster, maybe on the holster that came with it or you, you added something, you put the strainer in the cup, you take your medium and you pour it in here, and then you wait, and you wait, and you wait, and you wait. And, and then when you're done, you, you take this out, and now we know that this is dirty, and you're gonna either wash this out which is time, or throw this away. But in the here is some solution. So if you're dealing with some high value solution, uh, stuff in the $100 a gallon or more range, that, that's in this cup that you're gonna throw away. Wasted money. Also, filter. These things, you know, they're relatively cheap, but you're gonna throw this away also, and that costs money. Now, you have your gun, it's attached, and you're all ready to go. You're spraying, 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 and when you're all done, here's the problem. You have to clean this out. This is full of solution. The gun is full of solution, and you have to clean this out because you can't leave this overnight sealed up very well without these threads getting dry, the air hose getting dry with solution and hardening, and just your gun getting dirty in the spray nozzle. So then you have to clean this out, and this is also solution or paint or stain or whatever you are or finish that you're throwing away. So let's talk about the better way to do this. All right. The better way to do this is to use a 3M PPS 2.0 disposable liner system. And here's what that looks like. First thing you're going to need to do is you're going to have to modify your spray gun. Find the correct spray adapter for your gun. This is a T75G gravity fed gun and the adapter is S2C, and I'll put a link in that down below so you can see which one I'm using for this particular model. Now, the way the, three P, the, the PPS system works is you have a cup, you have a liner, disposable liner, you pour your medium into the cup. There are different graduations on the side of the cup if you needed to mix some ratios. You take a lid with a built-in strainer, a 200 micron strainer, maybe it's 180, into the lid, you put it on the cup, you give it a quarter turn, you're done. You can put a plug in if you like, give it a good shake, take the plug out, then you take your gun and you take your solution quarter turn, you're ready to go. That's it. When you're done for the night, you simply flip this over, you let the solution drain down into the cup, you give it a quarter turn, off comes the spray gun. If you're all done and you don't want to spray anymore and, and this particular solution is finished up, quarter turn, throw this away, 
throw this away, use that again tomorrow. If you're not done, you leave it all assembled, you grab the sealing plug, you put it in there, turn it upside down so that the filter stays wet, and you can leave it there as long as you want. Clean out your gun and you'll be good to go. Very simple. There's also an improvement on this, and then there's some problems that I'm going to go through in a minute. So if you notice on the original system, there's this air hose. And the reason that the air hose exists is that it takes air from the compressor and it forces it into this chamber and it pushes down the solution. And that top pressure down is what propels it out of the front of the gun, out of the spray needle and the air cap in the front there. And it propels it out to make a nice fine mist that you need to spray. If you notice, on the 3M system, there is no place to attach an air hose. There's no air hose here, okay? So what can you do? If you find that you need to spray very thick material, latex paint, which has got to be some of the thickest stuff you can spray, if you find that you need to spray that, you might go with the 3M 2.0 H slash O pressure cup. This is a hard plastic reusable pressure cup that attaches to the spray gun. Now, there's a problem though. The problem is, is that these directions are absolutely terrible that come with the spray cup, okay? And the reason they're terrible is because they're missing a step. If I was to follow the directions and assemble the spray cup to use, here's what it would look like. I would take my lid off, I would take a disposable liner, I'd place it in the spray cup. Good so far. I take my dome, I place it on there, just like the original system. I take my liner, place it on there, and I would screw it on tight. The problem though, is it doesn't fit. This can't screw on because of the dome lid. Now I follow the directions, and I'll post a picture of these things so you can see what they look like, but the directions are missing a step. In order to make this work, you have to remove this black collar. Throw that away. Now, you put the dome in, push it down, you put the spray cup or the uh, liner uh, collar on, you tip it over just like it was before, and now you're ready to spray. Simply attach your air nozzle. And when you do that, it will fill up the chamber with air. It'll push down the liner inside and you'll be ready to spray. So the, the Fuji spray system is a fantastic system all by itself. If you want to improve your spraying process and save some time and steps and save some money and some materials and solution and not throw away so much trash, um, check out the 3M PPS 2.0. It's a new system that came out and then the accessories here. I'll put some links down below so you can see um, what these actually look like for the T75 spray gun. If you found the video helpful, please subscribe, hit the notification button for me. Uh, it helps to build my channel. I really appreciate it.